have some incredible fighters who are going to be going over to Thailand. We have something that's never been seen before, and we're going to get it started off right here tonight. So first of all, I'd like to thank and introduce everybody who's here, okay? Sitting far, far, far to my right is Rel Torrance, who is the boxing trainer of the heavyweight champion, former heavyweight champion of the world, two-time Riddick Bowe. Okay, right next to him, we have Mr. Dave Limperset, we have his daughter Jessica Limperset, and we have his son Tony Limperset. They are the promoters for this incredible event. Right here, right to my right, we have one of the participants, a devastating fighter, been around the world, been all over, fought all over. He's fought any kind of fight you can imagine, boxing, MMA. Now he's doing Muay Thai. He'll be wrestling soon, I'm sure. <laughs> Dewey Cooper. <laughs> and we're going to go all the way down to the end there. Over there, we have a trainer. A phenomenal trainer. He's trained some of everybody. He's trained Gina Carano. He's trained Kit Cope, Ben Garcia. He's trained myself. He's trained Vandalay Silva. He's trained Marvin Eastman. He's got over 300 fights and been doing this training stuff for over 25 years. Ladies and gentlemen, please a warm round of applause for Master Chan. <laughs> and sitting next to Master Chan is another promoter, Mr. Sam Fu. And he, we, we, he's here to help get this thing started. And so, give him a big round of applause. <laughs> and sitting next to Matt, the, the promoter, a good friend of mine also. He's been a training partner with me. He is Marvin Eastman. <laughs> and now, ladies and gentlemen, this is exciting for me. A two-time heavyweight champion of the world. He's fought some everybody. He's had the trilogy with Amanda Holyfield. He has a phenomenal record of 43 wins. 33 of those wins came by way of knockout. He has one loss. Question. And that was when that was when a guy flew in the ring. I was there. Okay. <laughs> he has one loss and he has one no contest. Ladies and gentlemen, please a big round of applause for the former two-time heavyweight champion of the world, Mr. Riddick, Big Daddy Bo. Okay. All right, and we hope oh, we left that one person. We left that one person, another trainer, here in Las Vegas, Master Air, down there, sitting next to Master Chan. Let's give him a big round of applause. So now we're gonna open it up for everybody. Let me just say this. I wanna start with uh, one of the biggest questions that, that everybody's gonna be asking. Why are you fighting Muay Thai? Why not? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I pretty much put everything else, so you know. I, uh, I'm sitting home on board. I mean, I like Muay Thai, so why not do it? But, okay, but you have to understand something. In the boxing realm, you have two weapons that are coming at you. They're two fists. You can duck, you can bob, you can weave. In the Muay Thai realm, mm -hmm. you got eight weapons coming at you. You got two fists, two elbows, two knees, two kicks. If you bob mm. and weave and duck, you might get knee in the face. That's a whole different story. Okay. Why are you doing it? Well, uh, let me, first let me say this. Um, as a kid, my sisters and brothers, 13 of us. We did Muay Thai, I just didn't know we were doing Muay Thai. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't know we were doing Muay Thai. That's, that's, that's for real. It's just, it's 13 of us, and so that's how we fought. Okay, well, you're training with some of the guys here, and, and, and I mentioned the local guys that we have here. I want to turn my attention real quick, sir. I want to turn it over here to Dewey, the Black Cobra Cooper. Dewey, you've been in this business a long time. You fought some of everybody, okay? You've been in all different types of organizations. What's unique about this organization and the person that you'll be fighting? Well, first of all, if, if you guys know anything about Muay Thai, Thailand is the mecca, it's where it began. So it's always a pleasure and a, and a privilege to fight there. So uh, just being in the, the, the place where it, where it originated brings a lot of spiritual warrior to you, you know. The crowd, they're, they're gonna expect great fights, 
they're gonna expect real combat, not too much playing around. So I'm just I'm just excited to be going back to Thailand. I've been I just fought in China on Super Bowl uh, Sunday, February third. So I'm just happy to be going to the mecca of Muay Thai where it all started. Fighting in Bangkok, Thailand, man, it's gonna be exhilarating. And uh, as far as the government fighting, we all know if you know anything about kickboxing, the Dutch fighters are considered the top fighters on the planet. So, you know, I, I'm honored to fight another great fighter and uh, the best man will win. But I can tell you one thing, I'm gonna be prepared and ready, ready to get that third world title and add that to my resume. The main thing is, we're going to Thailand, baby, man, that's big, that's big, I can't wait. Okay, definitely, you're going to Thailand, it's gonna be a good time, we're gonna have a good time fighting. And when you go to Thailand and you see the seriousness of how they train, and you see that it's not just a sport to them, it's a way of life. It makes you appreciate the sport more. You've gone to Thailand to train. Where have you trained in Thailand? I go out there, you know, once, twice a year for the last 15 years at the mighty Sassy Pupaya gym right in Bangkok, baby. Uh, Takoon, we coming real soon. So uh, it's gonna be big, like I said, man, if you've never been there, you know, it's, it's a crazy thing, you know. There's all the sins going on. People are drinking, people are betting, they're gambling on you live time. You know if you're winning or losing a fight each round, you're looking on the board and seeing your name, either 10 or 9. So, so there, there, there's no excuses like in America. You know, you think you want to fight, you go to the judges' scorecards, and you got robbed. Out there, you're going to know what the score is after each round. And people are going to be betting money on you or against you. So, you know, it's just great, man. It's like old Jean Claude Van Damme movie or something. It's going to be real, and I can't wait to do it. There you have it. I'm very good. I want to move over to your left. I want to talk to my man over here, Marvin Eastman. When I was training a while ago, Marvin used to come into the gym, and he's all buffed up like a bodybuilder, and he used to go, y'all need to get going, and everybody get going. <laughs> Nobody went to have to deal with Marvin. Marvin, how do you feel? Again, you you fought all over, and now you're getting to fight in a place that I know you've always wanted to fight in, Thailand. What do you feel about that, and what do you know about your opponent? Um... I'm not familiar with the, the opponent, but um, in Muay Thai, you can use all kind of weapons. So um, you got knees, elbows, head kicks, leg kicks. Um, I'm very familiar with that because of uh, my trainer, multiple world champion, and um, I've just waited for the opportunity to use all those weapons. Believe me, I, I'm, I'm salivating to use <laughs> Believe me, jump elbows, uppercut elbows, I'm waiting for that. Uh, for multiple years. Now I fought MMA for 13 years and I fought pretty much uh, everybody who's anybody in that sport and I've used my elbows and cut people up. So, but it's a little bit different when uh, you don't have to worry about getting taken to the ground. You know? so, <laughs> so, uh, but I'm, I'm very grateful for this opportunity um, and I can't look, I'm, I'm looking forward to, to uh, displaying some skills over there. You know, believe me, I'm, I mean, I'm telling you, I'm, I feel like a African that ain't eaten about 13 years. <laughs> I just can't wait to put these elbows on somebody. <laughs> I'm serious, so. <laughs> I'm really glad you're not gonna put them on me. <laughs> I'm uh, really uh, uh, happy to train uh, two time former uh, heavyweight champion because, uh, you know, it's good opportunity for me to show how I can do uh, train the boxing. And I do uh, train on uh, mixed martial arts, everybody, every style, kickboxing, karate, taekwondo, MMA. Now I can train boxing before, but now it's a good time to train the Olympic ball. And I will train him already a couple of times. Uh, he's, a, he's a big guy. I have to stand tall, stand up and <laughs> feet. I have a little guy, but I can handle him. He's a power punching. And then we, we have type Muay Thai program to train him. He picks something very fast. 
It's good elbow right now. He start elbow very good. Yeah, I uh, hope he can use it. But uh, all the Muay Thai, he want to use in the ring. I will train him to make sure he can do good in the ring about Muay Thai. I believe because uh, he's a smart guy. You know, he's a tough guy. He have a heart to do this for Muay Thai. Thank you. <laughs> oh man. Right now, I tell you what we're gonna do. Ask questions. <laughs> we're gonna ask some questions right now from you guys. And I know, you know, bear with us, we gotta get everybody, but we're gonna ask some questions and we got some people we wanna introduce who are sitting out there as well. First question right over here. Right here. Riddick, um actually two questions for two different fighters. Riddick, I I would just like to know because the big question is, is have you ever got kicked in the leg yet? In in training? And it's just well, not in training, but back in Brooklyn, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you very much. And the other question is, uh, Dewey Cooper, um, uh, it's true that you were one of the first men ever to do, uh, have an active pro winning record in MMA, boxing, right. and Muay Thai, right? Yes. Awesome. Awesome. Oh, first man ever. Yeah. Awesome. I mean. I don't separate the arts, man. It's all martial arts, whether you're a boxer, kickboxer, jiu-jitsu dude, whatever. You know, it's all about the dedication you put to what you do. And if you're a real martial artist, man, you train six, seven days a week, whether you got a fight coming up or not. And I've dedicated my life to this. And so it doesn't matter what style of fight it is, I'm going to be ready to put up a hell of a fight. And it ain't, it ain't going to be any different May 13th, man. We want to Thailand to wreck some people and then get drunk afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> I only drink after a fight. I'm gonna drink after I'll I will be drinking that. my ties in Thailand for sure. Okay. You can't do? Are there the same kind of roles in Muay Thai that you things you can't do? Okay, there are a lot of things that you can't do. One of the main things you can't do is something that he was a victim of. You can't hit somebody in the groin. Okay. You can't kick somebody in the groin. Um, you have more weapons, but there's still rules. And the you, you, you have two fists, two elbows, two knees, and, and two kicks. But you, can, you have to stay within the realm of, of the sport. Unlike MMA, you can't throw somebody, take somebody and shoot it and throw them down to the ground. You have to stand up and fight. Until the ref breaks you. And you can't bite. You oh, can't, oh, yeah. <laughs> but, yes, sir. Uh, brings up a good question. The idea of Thailand rules versus United States rules are very different. <clears throat> Master Chan can comment on that. But in Thailand, you can use the vertical elbow yes. to the head. That's my yeah. question. You can hit the spine. You can hit the groin. Are you going to use USA rules or Thailand rules? Again, are the rules going to be Thailand rules, Thailand. Oh, which means vertical elbows, yeah, yeah, head, absolutely. Uh, right? Yeah. Into the spine. Is the guy going to be yeah. as tall as Growing? you? Yeah. I'm, I'm yeah. not sure. I don't, I'm not going to hang with that. I know one thing when I'm done with him, he's shorter. Go ahead. <laughs> and, but one thing that he didn't state clearly, you actually can take somebody to the ground, yeah. but you do it from a clinch, clinch. Stand up and clinch. it's called neck wrestling or stand up grappling. So I actually can twist you and take you to the ground. So it's not shooting and grabbing the legs and taking them down like an MMA, but I can, in a clinch, step in and trip him or oh. something like that. That is legal. And, and, and with that being said, when uh, there were other boxers who went out and they fought MMA fighters, that was going to be a problem because if I'm an MMA fighter and a boxer is going to fight me and he's going to stand there in a boxing stance, I'm going to shoot as low as I can, and do an ankle pick if I can, and take him down. And once the boxer's down on his back, then I'm going to do my work. He doesn't have to worry about that because he's going to be standing and fighting unless, again, like, like Marvin said, he's clenched and then twisted and thrown to the ground. But they won't attack you while you're on the ground. They'll let you, the ref will come and let you get back up and you'll stand and, do, and, and get back to action. <clears throat> well, I'm not a person, so I don't see him twisting me. <laughs> Anybody else? Yes, go ahead. Dewey, as a guy that's done uh, Muay Thai and, and boxing, what advice would you have for, for Riddick? I already know. Well, you know, I can tell you one thing. It's real. One thing about Muay Thai that a lot of people who don't do the sport doesn't realize it's a lot of pain involved. You know, I do all sports professionally. Uh, boxing, there is a glove hitting you. No matter how powerful a person hits, 
there's a glove hitting you. In Muay Thai, you got shins coming. Those shins are normally pretty hard and pretty conditioned. So just be ready to, you know, endure some pain. Whether you win a fight or not in Muay Thai, you're going to be limping after the fight. Your arms are going to be sore. There's going to be a lot of pain involved, man. Muay Thai is not for the meek. You know, it's for the strong only. And uh, him being a boxer, he can land the right hand. You know, that's that's the intrigue of him fighting, man. It's going to be great. I can't wait to see him land the right hand. But there's going to be some pain involved regardless. And please defend the leg kick. If you look at that pretty face, though, I think you can see that he has endured some pain in the past. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but just, just keep in mind, no, no one, don't get defensive over there. I'm just telling you the real shit, number one. Number two, you got elbows hitting you. The fights don't get stopped for cuts. There's a lot of variables that you guys probably don't understand. You know, if you get your eye ripped out of socket, you either cower and quit or you keep fighting. You know, remember, man, it's real warrior spirit going on. Be ready to fight. It's going to be real. You know, in Thailand, it's going to be real. Well, let me ask you a question. You said you could quit. What does that mean? Exactly. No, I'm saying, you know, in America, Las Vegas, anywhere, a cut, the referees, you know, have you see the doctor, and if the cut's bad, they'll stop the fight. In Thailand, you could have your, your whole eye ripped out of socket, and you want to keep going, they'll let you keep going. Cuts are not cause to stop a fight, so please keep those things in mind. This is not, you know, American rules. These are Muay Thai rules, and it's going to be real. I'm, I'm, that's, that's to him. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to him. You know, so Muay Thai, you got bone coming at you versus a glove. It's, it's a lot of pain involved. Whether you win or lose, we're all going to be limping after the fight, trying to get our first drink, because it's going to be some pain involved, for sure. I love it. Well, I, want my, I don't want my to do me no pain. <laughs> okay, anybody else? What, do you, what What's out there that any, somebody wants to know? Pop got something to say right there, Pop. You got something? Today, Pop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you don't have nothing? All right. Oh, okay. he ain't got nothing right now. Nice. What about you, Slick? champion, former world champion of boxing here, but we have some local talent that is going to be there. And Muay Thai, like, like Dewey Express, it is one of the sports that after you leave, after you fought, after you won, you're still in pain. I've yet to see, I see guys, they walk away from a fight, I personally knocked the guy out, but had to get my legs stitched up because, and I won in the first round. But you, there's still so much pain involved. Elbow strikes, it's a difference when you get punched and that right hand comes, followed by the hook, I heard you, <laughs> okay? But then they follow that hook with an elbow. That's a whole different ball game. You gotta be prepared for that, are you? Thanks for the warning. What was that? I said thanks for the warning. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> What the public has to understand, and I think every man up here, I don't think there's nobody up here that don't have more than 30 or 40 fights. <laughs> you, my, Riddick is professional, and he know what he signed up for. He didn't just say, let me just go and get in a, a plane and see if I can fly. He, he knows what he signed up for, and if he's a smart man, and I know his trainer is, he's understanding he had to study what he was getting into. So. And the one thing about this is, somebody's hitting you and you get to hit them back. Yeah. Believe me, I don't know nobody went in a fight unless they got a one, you know, uh, I mean, a, a Jimmy Thunder one punch knockout. So it's going to be, yeah, okay. I I mean, well, I <laughs> way to put it, baby. Uh, and I'm not mad. If you use that, that's, that's perfect for you. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying, everybody up here has to be prepared. They are prepared and they should know what they're getting into. So, um, whether or not he's took a kick or, or any of that like that, honestly, I, he's a professional. He got some weapons too. So he gonna get an opportunity to, to, to unleash them weapons. And uh, otherwise, if he thought it was something he couldn't do, he wouldn't be up here talking to you. Hey Marvin, you've been inactive for, I guess, about a year and a half. Why'd you come back to Muay Thai as opposed to MMA? Um, well, the I kind of had a little bit of a, you know, our, the gym where we was at uh, kind of split up, so um, it's kind of hard to be consistent doing that when you got 
this issue over here and the manager this and the trainer that and so you know I just stuck with MMA and uh, you know the unfortunate thing is, is is you train it every day but it's nothing like training consistently three or four because in Muay Thai being taught by real Thai teachers you train, but every day you spar. It ain't a day where you, let me go and spar today. You spar, train every day. Every day you spar. It's part of the way you taught this art. It's not just an art, but this is a lifestyle for, for Thai people. And and when you do an MMA, you know, it's you focus on everything so you don't get a direct just... <clears throat> Muay Thai training 100% every day. So I got the opportunity to finish up my career. You know, I won four world championships as an MMA fighter. You know, um, I never won a, uh, uh, a world championship in MMA, but I, my record is 13 and four. Um, and I fought in the K1 just like Dewey before. But the the one thing that I've never been able to do is, is to fight full rules. So I can't wait to get that opportunity to use my trips and use my elbows and jump knees and leg kicks and all the stuff that comes with it. You know, you get hit in boxing real fast, you fall down, guess what, in Muay Thai, you get hit and you, you stand back up real fast, guess what, it's not a knockdown. So it's more to this art, to just, you have to just learn it. I mean, you have to understand, you have to study it because uh, maybe getting a, a foot in the face is a big point. You know, getting tripped, but maybe just the knockdown is not as many points as, as it is in boxing. So it's a whole different concept, a whole different type of, of uh, rules that you know would behoove you to try to learn what you're getting into when you when you when you do it. So let me ask, let me ask you a question. Do you look forward to getting the foot in the face or not? <laughs> oh no, I, I, well you gotta understand this. To tie and to the tie person you putting your foot in somebody's face or putting your that that's very disrespectful one but two but it, it 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 it's a lot of points so if i get the opportunity to put my foot in your face and and let you taste the bottom of my foot <laughs> and, 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 that's a big that's good stuff so that's like a knockdown I, I just want to make sure you most know. definitely i'm looking forward to it so and i'm pretty sure before it's all over you'll know all the rules and you'll understand what the deal is so you're a professional you've been in the game for a long time i just wanted to make sure you know Jack Dempsey. So those two different areas are very rare for a boxer, especially for a legendary champion. <clears throat> yes, and, and okay. think about it. When Muhammad Ali fought Anoki, that was wrestling. That was more of a show. The guy he's fighting is going to try to knock him out. Well, this is for real. This is for real. <laughs> it's just like Dewey and just like Marvin said, this is the real deal. Okay? See, Steve, that, that, just, that just goes to show you that I'm, I'm really great. <laughs> it's, it's true. What he's doing is unprecedented. For real, what he's doing is unprecedented. He's fighting a real Muay Thai fight in Thailand, the mecca of the art. So you know, it's it's definitely a special moment. And I'm I'm proud to be on the show with, with Riddick, by the way, just let everyone know. Uh, it's 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 not what Ali did. All that that was WWE wrestling type stuff. This is real combat it's big in, board in, in its purest form. So it's, it's, I can't wait to see Riddick Bowen there also. I'm going to tell Ali you said that. <laughs>